you're going to need some block printing ink, a roller, a tray or something to spread your ink on, paper, the foam sheets themselves and a simple pencil. That again, you will need block printing ink, a roller, a tray or something to spread your ink on, paper, polystyrene foam sheets. You can buy these as sheets or sometimes find them on the bottom of pizzas and a pencil. So we'll start with the design. Of your pencil and foam. You just need a pencil for this. This sort of printing and a lot of printing you need to do things in the reverse. So I'll start with a written one and you can see what I mean. You have to write things backwards. Mirror image. So sometimes it's useful to do this on a scrap of paper first so you can work out your design and especially work out lettering if it is back to front. You'll see as I'm carving out the design, I'm pulling, pushing, you're more likely to get it splitting and it just works better. Pulling the pencil through the foam. You want to go quite deep, but if you hit the table or you actually, you know, go through the foam, it's probably telling you you've gone a little bit too deep. There we go. We'll just do another design as well. So you can see always pulling rather than pushing. So there we have our tiles ready for printing. Tray, ink, roller. This is printing ink. Uh, block, uh, for block printing, really good stuff. Costs about five, six quid, but a tube lasts ages. You don't need loads. It's a nice dollop like that. And then you want to roll it out. Can you hear that kind of tacky sound? So that's about the right amount of ink to use, okay? So we're going to now roll this onto our foam piece. So it's good to go in kind of both directions just to make sure. And you can already see kind of where I've drawn into the foam, there's no ink on those bits. So you know they're going to come out white and the rest is going to come out black. Then we just flip over onto the paper. Now, if you've got a spare roller, that's great. If not, just gently press with your hands all over as even as you can. And then we're going to peel the paper off and there we have the print. We'll do the other one. Now, if you were going to print more than one copy, you would do want to kind of re-ink it each time. Okay. And we'll flip that over. Now again, just pressing nice and evenly all over. Peel gently. This is so we don't move and make a smudgy print, but also that we don't crack the polystyrene as we lift it off. And there you have your foam prints.